Well, good morning, everyone. Rain, rain, rain. Unbelievable. Since about midnight last night, we've had non-stop rain. And it's not just a drizzle, it is heavy rain. Rain gauge says about three inches so far, and I'm sure there's more to come. Uh, Weatherman has predicted a uh, storm or a uh, weather event, so there is a rain fall warning out. They we're expecting about 40 millimeters yet today. Uh, that's on top of what we already got. So yeah, it is wet. Everything's saturated, and ironically, yesterday was the anniversary of the major flood that Calgary had six years ago. Uh, major event, 100 year rain, and uh, yeah, it is raining again today. Anyway, I'm in the shop today, so uh, hopefully that uh, will take a little bit of the sting away from not being able to be outside. So uh, we're gonna head back and uh, work on those uh, five-piece Shaker MDF doors, uh, get some of that assembled, and uh, I'm glad you could come, I'm glad you could visit, and uh, let's go build some doors. Okay, well, welcome back to the shop, everyone. Brand new day. We're gonna continue with the assembly of the five-piece shaker doors. Hopefully we'll get that done, get it glued up, let it set for a while. So yeah, first thing on the list is to sand the inside edge of the rails and styles. Like I said, it was uh, it's easier to do that now than after. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get the edge sander set up, get the dust collector going, and we'll uh, sand those edges. Okay, so one last step that we're going to do before we can start assembling is the inside edge of the groove is still quite sharp, and so we're going to uh, just break the edge a little bit with a uh, little sandpaper jig, and we're just going to, it does both edges at once, so just a quick couple of swipes, and that'll break this edge here, and uh, then we can get to assembling. Well, all the inside edges of the groove are sanded a little bit just to break the edge. So the next step will be to uh, sort out what pieces go with what so that uh, I don't have to think about that when I'm assembling. I can get a rhythm and a pattern going. So that'll be the next step is putting uh, five pieces for each door together and then uh, we'll start gluing them together. Okay, so I make a uh quick jig out of some scrap material out of the bin and uh, I make one board that I know to be square on one 90 degree corner. So theoretically, if I line these two up, there's no Everything's tight, and this should be exactly 90 degrees. So we'll fix that into place, and we have half of our square jig in place. So the idea behind the uh, two pieces at 90 degrees is that I don't have to think about squaring up the doors too much. So if I've got, if I know that one corner is exactly 90 degrees, then I should be able to put the door together and if the bottom edge and the far edge line up with the two cleats, 
then technically, other than maybe tapping the one rail, it should be square. So, just as a quick demonstration, we push this into the corner here, and then we do this, and then by rights, that door should be square. It saves a lot of thinking or a lot of uh, process when you're trying to make a so In the previous video, I mentioned the styrofoam balls that we use as spacers. So all they get done is uh, you just shove them down into the groove. And on the smaller doors, you, uh, you can get away with uh, one per rail and one per style. On the larger doors, I generally go one per rail and then two on the styles. That way it kind of helps stabilize the insert panel. So when I cut my insert panel, uh, you have to allow for the styrofoam balls or else your panel will be too big and you'll only be wrestling with it. So under compression, these styrofoam balls, you should allow a quarter inch per side or a quarter inch overall for your panel insert and then they should fit fine. So I've cut all my panels um, a quarter inch shorter than the rest uh, of the uh, inside dimension of the groove and that will allow for the styrofoam ball. Okay, well that's all the doors assembled. About four minutes of door roughly, a little bit more at the beginning, a little less at the end as the workflow kicked in. So tomorrow we're going to fill all the joints between the rails and the styles, let that dry over the weekend, and then uh, sand them out on Monday morning, get them into the spray booth, and uh, get uh, primer and finish coat on. Okay, I've got all the joints filled. The next step will be sanding and drilling the holes for the hinges. But I just use a uh, product available at most paint stores. It's glazing and spot putty. It's actually an automotive product, but uh, I've seen the painters on site use this for filling nail holes. And it uh, provides a nice smooth finish after sanding and uh, almost to paint ready. Whatever I've missed will show up in the primer process, pinholes or spots that I've missed, and then we'll take care of it then. Okay, well, one of the last steps is to drill the holes for the hinges. Uh, I have a headache machine, 
and it uh, is standard 35 millimeter hinge hole for the European style hinges. I also use this machine for line boring, the 5 millimeter shelf pin holes for my gables. In general, I go 3 inches from top and bottom of the door on center for the hinge holes. But because we're matching an existing kitchen, I have to use a spacer block and use the second stop instead of the first one. Not a big deal, unless I forget to put the spacer in. So let's drill some holes. Well, all the doors are done. All the edges have been eased with a 16th inch round over. I've uh, sanded out the machining marks, double checked it all, and they actually all look pretty good. So last step is to bring it down to the finishing area and get some uh, lacquer on there. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna include that in this video. But anyway, it uh, worked out well. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, video and this uh, two-part series on five-piece shaker doors. Uh, Maybe not as informative as you'd like, but hopefully you'll learn a little bit. And uh, we enjoyed producing it for you. And uh, as always, we'd love it if you would subscribe, like and share, and uh, stay tuned for more videos coming soon.